Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dash Brennan. If you enjoy my content, let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, Dash Brandon back here again and this time we got a guide instead of soloing something. <laughs> so today what we're going to be talking about is expeditions. Uh, as you can see I have one completed here. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, what happens when you complete one. If you haven't already done them yet. You get a chance on your success, and then you get a bunch of stuff, and then you're done. If it's um, overflow, it goes to your storm shield. Oh man, we got some crappy choices here. So, um, the big thing about this is that you end up using the heroes to go on these expeditions, but you don't want to use ones that you want to play with for however long as this takes, because if you send someone out for eight hours, they're... God, you can't use them for eight hours. I don't think you can even level them up. I could be wrong about that. I don't think you can level them up. And if you do, I don't think it affects the chance that you'll actually um, complete the, the expedition. So a lot of people say that they have a hard time with getting silver in the early game or even copper. And uh, one thing I found is to go on an expedition for crafting materials. This here is a supply cache. This is uh, its going to give you metal, wood, brick, uh, other supply type things such as that. Um, there is a crafting material one. It's a red toolbox looking guy. That's the one I usually go for. And if you want, you can wait out these timers and see if you get a better roll. I'm probably going to do that for my truck, which is right here. But I, I might just send the boat out now for the point of the video. So, how do you actually accomplish these? Well, you have to match your squad power right here at 65 for this particular mission. Uh, we need to have the boat unlocked, which I do. And you get slot bonuses for soldiers and constructors on this one. There are other one others that you can get Outlander on this one. Um, there's ninjas. You know, they use all the classes, basically. Um, these I haven't been able to touch yet because their power requirement is just so astronomically high. And I only have three slots right now, and the next time I'm going to get a slot is in research to four. Four. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while before I can really take advantage of this one. But if I could, I would do this one because it gives you large rescued survivors. Uh, it's the same survivors that you put into your squads and things of that nature. And even if you think that you've got a good squad set up, you can send them out here and then retire them for the books and the experience when it comes back. That's uh, that's the reason that I do su survivor runs right now. Um, if a uh, crafting cache isn't available, then I'll do I'll do survivors, or I'll just wait. Um, so let me show you how you get one of these set up. We're gonna do the boat, and we're gonna do the one that requires a soldier and a constructor. Constructor, so you. Go ahead and start preparing. You unlock more slots as you play. I haven't unlocked this one because generally it's just not necessary for me at this point. And this one is way over in tree th tree three, quite a ways away. So you get your percent chance up here. I've had ones that are like 90, 93. I've had them fail. So if you can hit 100, go ahead and do it. Um, so we only need 65, we need a soldier and a constructor. Do I want to put this guy here? No, because I, I might want to play with him sometime in the next, uh, what is it, eight hours there? This is the duration of the, of the mission. So I, I don't think I'll want to play as a soldier, so I can send him. And then I can send a, a blue, pretty much a, any blue gives you 10. So I can just send anyone here and I can get up to 93%. Um, we might actually want to look for something that would give us 15, like this Urban Assault Headhunter Soldier, or we can send an Outlander. It's too bad I don't have... Oh, here's a Constructor. There we go. Now we got 66 power here. That's this character's power plus this character's power, and any bonuses they have reaches 66, which is over 65, so we have a 100% chance to complete this mission. So when you're ready, you gotta go ahead and hit Start. And you launch it. So now, if I were to go to my hero squads, I can't use them. They're all locked up. Oh, it appears you can upgrade them. Can't evolve if you don't have all the stuff that I like me. Um, 
The ninja is already in use. Here we go. We can test it out on Tank Penny here. Looks like we can level them up while they're on. I'm not sure if that'll have any effect on the mission, though, if you're not at 100%. Uh, also, I'm trying some different mic settings. Hopefully, it works out pretty well. I increased the gain and decreased the windows levels. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. All right, back to... Uh, no, oh, no, that's not where we want to be. We want to be in the squads. So uh, I've unlocked one truck, one boat, and one helicopter at this point. I'm not sure if you can unlock more. I would imagine you can. It's kind of like a like a mini game built into this, in a way. So I'm gonna wait on my truck for the next to uh, next uh, refresh here, which is gonna be an hour and 22 minutes away. And at that point, um. Hopefully, I can get crafting materials. So one thing I really like about crafting materials is that you can get nuts and bolts in them, and I've pulled like 70-ish to 100 out, which is also really nice. Uh, nuts and bolts seems to be a very big contributing factor to slowing your progress. Um, so you can go for survivors, you can go for other type, uh, like building type materials here and you can go for crafting materials. You can also go for straight up materials, like this will bring you back bricks, but I mean, if you need bricks that badly, then just go freaking farm them, you know what I'm saying? Don't send don't send your guys out on a 16 hour mission for stone cash, small. Also, the small, medium, and large does affect the quality of the loot you get. In a small survivor cache, you can get a gray or a green, I've never seen a blue come out of it. I have seen blues come out of mediums. And uh, you just get more of everything and better quality if you wait. So pretty much that's my rundown on expeditions. It's uh, not too hard to figure out, but I'm sure some people have questions. Oh, another thing that you might not be aware of. I almost forgot. Uh, this is the cost of sending it, your uh, expedition out. So that's the people that you have been gathering the entire game and you have no idea what they're for. This is what they're for. Also, it caps at a thousand, so if you're getting anywhere near it, you might as well just send some people out on an expedition. Uh, they don't want you uh, holding on to a lot of people. And uh, that's more or less... That's more or less it. Um, but these people, when they're spent, they're gone. So if I were to go on this one, I would have 401 instead of 421. And when your expedition comes back, you don't get these people back. So that's why it caps out at a thousand. And if you're trying to farm people so that you can do these, I'll show you the best place right here. So you see um, this handy dandy rescue the survivors. Every survivor you rescue, I don't know if you've noticed, but you get people at the end of the mission. When, no matter what mission you're in. So if you do a mission where it's all about rescuing survivors, you're going to walk away with 10, 20 people pretty easily, I think. Uh, depending on how good your teammates do on that mission. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more guides, let me know what you need help with. And if you want to see me soloing Storm Shield defenses and being real bad at it, uh, especially towards the end, let me know and uh, you can go look at some of the past videos. I got a couple more I got to render and get ready. But other than that, that's all I got. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Dash Brandon. I hope you had a good time. Bye-bye.